God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day too. God bless everybody. Yep. He does. We're all good. Okay. We're all good? No, the Bible says no one's good. Love is love. God is love. The Bible says none are good. I would love to speak. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Opie. Um, Hi. I am 5'7", seven, 17 years old, and I can love tell. men. And personally, I like to think that God thinks that I am more male than you are. Thank you. Okay. My guy, if Jesus is speaking to you, you should probably get that checked out. Just saying. What's that? First of all, I just want to say... It's biblical that Jesus speaks to Christians. By the way, first of all... Um, What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas. Good to meet you, Nicholas. Good to meet you. I'm Carrie. And I've got to say, I've got to, i got to say, I am uh, very impressed. And it takes a lot of balls to come up here and do this. So props to you for that. Now, I want to say I, I am a Christian. I have been a Christian since I was seven. I have in a 21-year marriage. I'm straight, and I've been married to my spouse for 21 years. We have two children. And um, are you a Christian as well? Yes. Okay. And what does it mean to be a Christian? It means that I believe Jesus is my king. Okay. I turned away from my own will, yes. and now I'm living um, completely for his will, and I'm following in Jesus' footsteps. Okay, so the definition the definition of Christian, as I have been taught, um, and as I... Just, just, bro, just look at the hair color. Look at the hair color. Okay. Got him. I hear you say it, is a follower of the teachings of Christ. Is that correct? Got him. A follower of the teachings of Christ. If one is a Christian, if one is a Christian, one is a follower of the teachings of Jesus Christ, who was the Son of God. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, could you please tell me what Jesus said about gays, lesbians, transgenders, or bisexuals? I would like to know what Jesus Christ, the Son of God himself, in the Gospels. I am not a Paulian. I do not follow the teachings of Paul. I am not a, um, a Judaist. I do not follow the Mosaic Law. Um, I don't know if she's asking that just to like find, just to, like find common ground, or is she actually genuinely asking because she doesn't know, she doesn't know, or obviously maybe she wants to know what the guy, uh, what uh, Nicholas think, maybe, but. Again, I don't know what, what's, what's the point of asking that question. Probably just to find common ground, but... I follow the teachings of Christ, so could you please tell me you... what in the Bible does the teachings of Jesus Christ have to say about gay and lesbian people? Because the last time I read all the way through the Bible, know? which has been like... several times, Christ said nothing. When the teachers of the law came to Jesus Christ and they said, Master... I wonder what Bible she's reading. What version she's written? What's <laughs> Rabbi? What is the greatest of the laws? And Christ said, "Yes, God gave you the law, but I give to you a greater law. The first is love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and the second is like it: love your neighbor as yourself." If that yeah. is, if we are a follower of Jesus Christ, as I have been, for which has own... nothing to do with loving your neighbor's sin, okay? Please, keep them apart. 35 years, I follow the teachings of Christ. That is what Christ said. What has Christ said about LGBT people? And that's my question for you. That is the only question. Yeah. So, I've got two two parts to this question. So, after I say the first one, don't wait. The Bible says that all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching. So, that means every bit of the scriptures, it's inspired by God. And it's profitable for teaching and learning and even exhortation, all those things. So it's, it's very include, clear. Does that include? It's the, very clear. Does that include the part where Lot slept with both of his daughters, or where King David cut off the foreskins of two hundred Philistines? Ah, uh, you did wait. You did that because you. Um, she's she's taking it too far, and that has nothing to do with the conversation that they're having right now. What's the point? Um. What's the point? What's the point? Where the Levite cut off, cut apart his uh, concubine, or all of those other wholesome stories and, and judges. As it's deviating I said, from the conversation. I follow the teachings of Christ according to the gospel, and that's all I'm asking. No, you don't. Is just according as a Christian. Jesus says nothing about it. There, there are many <laughs> sins that happen in the Bible that are wrong, 
And just because a sin is in the Bible doesn't mean that it's okay. So many things that David did are referred to as sins. Many things that other men in the Bible did are referred to. So here, here's what Jesus says. Go, bro. Here's what Jesus says. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a male shall leave his father and mother and be joined his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. That is, I agree. That is in the context of marriage. And that yeah, has so to do with LGBT. Jesus gave the example. The context, wait, did you say in the context male. of marriage? Is that what you said? And female, and then said that they should marry one another. And then there are many other places throughout the scriptures that specifically say a male and a male, or a woman and a woman, lying with one another, sleeping with one another, or knowing one another. Even New Testament and Old Testament, it says specifically that it's that it's wrong. So the Bible also says that if we willfully continue in sin, then there no longer remains a sacrifice for our sins, but a fearful expectation, a fiery indignation. It also says that if we're in the context practicing sin, then we really don't know God, even though we might claim like to know Him. There were even people in the old, or even when Jesus walked the earth, who claimed to know God, but Jesus said, "Your uh, hearts are far." She's, there's like a huge difference between hearing and listening and she's definitely a good example okay she's just waiting on that guy to shut up so that she can say whatever is going through her mind you can tell bro she's, she's not trying to listen okay so that's the only scripture that you can pull out that christ said anything about that okay thank you for your time i appreciate it you, you see today, and i hope that this is you see you see that? She wasn't trying to have a meaningful conversation.